Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? In this video, I'm gonna talk about dot find and dot get reference persistent APIs. And uh, let's start. So both of the API or methods are very similar. They are used to retrieve a particular entity uh, through the primary key. Okay, and uh, if the entity already exists in the persistent context, which is the session or cache, first level cache, then they won't go to the database. It just return whatever inside the persistent context. So what's the difference between them? Uh, this part we were using find. Okay, how to using find? We have to get uh, Get what? We have to get an entity manager. Okay, so suppose now we are using the person. Okay, p equals entity manager dot find. Okay, and here we are using person dot class. And the second parameter we give the uh, what's the uh, primary key. Okay. And suppose we are using the long type from primary key. Okay, so what is gonna happen on this step? This step is gonna do is like this. Uh, suppose this entity are not exist in the uh, in the persistent context. Okay, so when we using find. Okay, uh, here is our database. Okay, DB. We'll remove this part and uh, here is our persistent context and uh, when we using em.find okay it's gonna it's gonna try to see if it exists in the persistent context if it doesn't exist right it will go to the database and then fetch the object okay fetch the object paragraph uh, sorry person to be here got it so if it doesn't exist, it's gonna go and fetch, okay? And suppose we make another request. Here, suppose person have dot get first name. Okay, we have another statement like this. And what's gonna happen? It's gonna do is you, we execute and uh, here we in the persistence test is already have the person right and this part is our database so it's just to retrieve the values from the persistence context it won't make a call to the database again okay so this is the find the first time to retrieve the object it's gonna make a hit immediately to the database and put the retrieve the record into the persistent context and in the following request in on the current entity manager and when you want to retrieve information or call the find again it won't make a hit to the database okay it will directly retrieve information from the persistent context so what is uh, get a different uh, get a reference this part is get reference okay so get a reference is what suppose here we also has a person p equals em entity manager dot get reference okay and uh, here oh sorry here oh yeah. Here also need to give person dot class and we also give a primary key too. okay so what's gonna happen after this statement uh, when we execute this statement still we here we have persistent context and here we have a database when we make this call the entity manager will operate on the persistent context right but when we using get a reference it will not make a hit to the database instead here we are provide a proxy it's not the 
person object, the actual person object, like the find did, it will provide a proxy. It won't make a hit to a database. Okay. And now, if I using person dot get a name, get a first name, like we did in the uh, where, uh, when we did in the find. Okay. When we want to get a first name, as we know, proxy doesn't have the information about the first name. So what it's gonna do? In this case, it's gonna make a, a, a request to the database. For this case, oh sorry. Here we still have persistent context and we also have the database. Okay, so when we do like this step, okay, it will make a call because we have to give the first name proxy doesn't have the first name. So here we have a person one, the actual object. So what this is the difference between them. Find will make a request to the database immediately. But for the get reference, only when you need the information about the object or entity, it will make a hit to the database. So now what's the benefit? Uh, oh, so what's the real difference between them? In some cases, there are no difference, but there's a, in one case, probably we will prefer to using get reference over find. So which case, when you will want to remove? Suppose we have this statement, okay? We have this statement, make a line, you not good at uh, this one, P. Okay, make a one. Okay, good. Now we have a request. We have a statement like this. Uh, first, we have a person p equals em dot find. Okay, person dot class, and here is one l. And then we using em dot remove which means I want to remove this person from the database. So what's going to happen for this one? The first time, uh, here first, uh, we, I have to do is the draw the persistent context first. Here we have persistent context. And then here we have a database. The first time we're using find to retrieve the object, okay? It will make a hit to the database, and the person will be exist in the um, persistent context. And this is for the first statement. This is the first statement. Second statement, when we remove, okay, when we remove, the person P is already inside the persistent context. When we remove, it's gonna also make a hit to the database. So for these two statement, we actually only do one thing, which is remove the object, right? Remove the entity, person one. But it make two hit requests to the database. And uh, instead, if we do like this way, uh, sorry, if we do like this way, uh, person p equals em dot get reference, uh, person dot class and uh, one l this is the primary key okay then we're using em dot remove p and what's gonna happen in this case let me change it to use another color okay so for the first statement as we know get reference will not make a call make a hit to the database right away only when you need the Entity manager, uh, sorry, well, only when you need the values of the person, like a get a first name, get a last name, only when you need, okay? So for the first statement, we have persistent context and we have a database here. When we want to retrieve this uh, person, okay? When we using get a reference, it won't make a hit to the database. Instead, he will provide a proxy here. Hibernate will provide a proxy. And only when we remove 
for the second statement when we remove okay and the that's the actual time it's gonna make a database call okay only when I remove then it will make a database call to the database so that's a difference so if you want to using find and remove together it's gonna make a one two two database hit but when we're using reference we remove it only make one database hit so this one get a reference together with remove is more efficient uh, that's it for this find and get a reference and uh, today is a Thanksgiving uh, happy Thanksgiving and uh, thank you for watching this video see you next time bye bye